Because glass has not yet learned to bend, and because even now glass will not bend, light must come in bent. I can live with what I know and with that alone. I was born in 1978 in a refugee camp. Earlier that year, my parents built a raft made of bamboo stalks to get from Laos to Thailand by way of the Mekong River. My mother was pregnant then. When I was born, I weighed less than two pounds. My mother put the umbilical cord between her teeth and tore it to cut us loose from each other. The doctor told my parents I was premature and for $2.50, they could take me to a hospital and put me in an incubator where I wouldn't survive. My parents didn't have the money. My father took off his shirt and wrapped me up. They took me home and put me in a hammock. My body was the size of a pot can. They could see all my insides. They were afraid to touch me. They knew a heart and lungs were in there, working and beating against my chest. They left me in a hammock for several days and looked in on me to check if the doctor was right. He wasn't. The human body is set between two points. The point water boils the point water freezes. This is where it lives and how, somewhere between two points. Laos. When bombs dropped here, we buried the dead, then took the metal for stilts to lift our homes above the ground. Years later in Toronto, I found a red book. It was aged and burnt by the sun. On the front cover, the year 1978 embossed into the leather. It was the year I was born, the year my parents lived in building number 48, Nong Kai, Thailand, a Lao refugee camp. He carved every letter into the sound its shape made and everyone took a place where nothing stood. Now my father had thrown the scrapbook away, and without his knowing, I took it and read what was there. There are no photographs of my mother here, just her name, her real name. Her real name looks like her, quiet and reaching for my father's. I was never given a birth certificate when I was born. It was a refugee camp and anyone born there isn't exactly staying, so you aren't recognized as a citizen. We need documents to prove that we are alive and real. It isn't enough that I happen to be right here. A piece of paper needs to prove this. Growing up, I did not have books. The only reading material there was were old newspapers laid out on the floor to dry our winter boots or wrap things of glass. When I learned to read, the winter boots lay dripping in the hallway, the glass broken and uncovered, because I knew this, this would be my way in. <laughs>